nope, just as I suspected, we got nothing. New project. So we're planning on trying to fix the windlass today, connected to our 12 volt panel, but um, it's not working. So we're gonna try and test to see if it's a continuity issue or if maybe it's the motor. Six. Okay. Ready? Whoa, it's working! It just, it just did it! Okay. See? It's doing something. And the, but the other one doesn't do anything? Let me try again. You might have to push it in further. Nothing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it works. If we bypass the switch, so we know it's the switch, which is the easiest part here to replace. So that's a really good thing for us. Yeah, we should just replace both switches so yeah. we have some new ones. The, the one that's damp, broken is the one where the the rubber cover that protects it from the elements is actually, it's broken out all the way around. The rubber is completely degraded. That's where that's the where you fill it up to with the other oil. With the oil. So it has this leak in it. So we're going to drain out whatever water is left in there now, and then we'll drain out the oil. to get about this much oil and water out. water and simple green and the sponge and that kind of ended up being the ticket for us getting some of that tough grease off. got a like rusted through hole. We decided to use this little expansion plug. So you just put the nut in here and then as you tighten it up, the rubber expands a little bit. It's basically the same concept that they use for like boat plugs for small boats. And you can pull the plug out when you're done and, and the water will drain out. It is very close.
Oh. <laughs> we only have the one. Boom, we're in. Yay! Cool. Not too bad. We drained the windless oil and we got to prep the paint, but it's too cold to paint right now, so we're going to put some oil back in uh, just so the internal parts don't rust. We decided to just replace both foot switches uh, just to make it easier, make them unique, and then I guess we'll still have one as a backup for an emergency if we absolutely needed to. We're going to start over new, so well, there's an airplane flying overhead yeah, right now. Yeah, this is great. Thank you. <laughs> Power is off also, by the way. Okay, good. This baby means business. Good. Good. These are going to be the new ones. Uh, they got a little nice arrow for up or down, which the, the other ones didn't. We'll wipe this down with acetone, clean it up. We're going to use butyl tape to seal this out in deck, make it watertight, and screw her down, and we should be good to go. So, one of the next big projects that we need to do, um, hopefully before we start using the boat this summer, is painting the hull like a sea foam kind of aquamarine blue color and then painting the top sides all white. If anybody has an opinion on that and, and wants to give us some better options, then, then please feel free to, to comment. Put a little beady around here. This is a butyl tape that we're using. Uh, they, it's really good for windows. We're going to put it around each screw as well. I think that's pretty good. Okay. That's the beauty of this stuff. It's so easy to clean up. Boom. We just gotta do the switches. Rust stop now. All right, let's see if I can do this without getting paint all over everything. Uh, that chrome needs to be covered.
nice. Alright, we just need to wire these up now. Jesse is playing around with the blowtorch. <laughs> uh, it's not working as good as the heat gun. Alright, we just got this one in, just hand tight, just to test. Okay, let's test it. The little cat. Is it this one? Yeah. Got the cover on, got those two in. Anchor down, anchor up. Down. Anchor up. Anchor up. Okay. Okay. Chain on. Brings it down, right? Yeah. We still have plans to pull out and inspect the chain before we use the anchor, and we'll be sure to include that in a future video. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our future restoration projects. Thanks for watching!